Welcome teachers. So now you have created course mastery goals and have also read the reports of your students. In this video, we will see three action steps that you can take based on these reports. First, creating learning groups of students. Second, identifying the topics that need clarification or revision. And third, acknowledging efforts made by students. As you saw in the last video, one glance at the report will tell you how many of your students are finding a particular unit difficult and how many are attempting and gaining proficiency. Take the example of Khan Demo 2 class. Check how the students are doing in multiplication. You can see that three students, Akash, Sandeep and Nihar in the 10 to 20% bracket, whereas one student is at 98% mastery. You can also see one student at 100% and eight students still at 0%. How do you handle such diversity in learning? To help students learn effectively, you can create homogeneous or heterogeneous groups. In homogeneous groups, you can include students on the basis of the common topics or skills that they have not understood. They can be assigned topics that require more practice. Those in the 20 to 40 percent bracket can be a part of one group. For example, Swati and Aditya, who are at the familiar level, can be put in one group. You may assign them to watch videos on the same topic and solve practice exercises depending on their progress. Similarly, for your group of students who have attained mastery in multiplication, you can assign them the next topic. In heterogeneous groups, you could make groups that include a few proficient students and others who are struggling with the specific skill or unit. For example, three students from the 10 to 20% bracket and those students who have achieved mastery and multiplication can be grouped together. In this group, students can work together and the proficient students can help their peers complete the tasks. At times, you may find that students are not making progress in any specific skill. You will need to address this and explain the concept again. For example, those students who are still in the 0 to 20% progress bracket will need to be taught the topic again. You may find that some of these students are struggling because of gaps in prior knowledge. Such students could be assigned fundamental skills or previous topics to bridge the gap. At times, you may observe that almost 80% of your class is struggling with a particular skill. In such a scenario, you need to reteach the concept again to the whole class. You can also deep dive to understand the specific exercises that students may be struggling with in a particular unit or skill by checking the scores tab under the assignment tab. For example, Sanket scored 25 in one exercise. If you click on the score, you will find that he has made various attempts but could not get the correct answer. So you know that he needs doubt clarification or reteaching of the concept. It means a lot for the students when you acknowledge their efforts. It motivates them to try harder and practice more. We recommend that once in a week you review the activity overview section of the teacher tools and appreciate the efforts of your students. Let's see how you can do that. On the teacher's dashboard, go to your class and check activity overview in the teacher's tools. If you click on the activity tab, you will find the learning minutes, number of skills leveled up, and skills without any progress. Recognize and appreciate the efforts of students who have met their learning goals. For example, Nehar, Rohit, and Swati deserve your appreciation for spending more than 60 minutes and leveling up on 10 or more skills. Under the skill tab, you will see the skill specific progress to mastery achieved by students. Based on the reports, you could supplement the course mastery goal by assigning 2 to 5 skills per week. For this, you could use the assign tab under the teacher's tool. This will make the larger goal easy to achieve 
and the progress will be clearly visible. The students will stay motivated. For example, in your grade 4, Swati scored 50% in the exercise multiplying two digits with one digit area model. You can assign her the video related to this topic and ask her to do the exercise again. To appreciate the efforts of the students, you may also award Khan Academy's editable certificates to students. The link for the certificates is given in the article at the end of the Khan for Educators advanced course.